On today's episode of Trucking with Trucker D, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to do a how-to video. We're going to show you how to work the Qualcomms and uh, what other little functions that you possibly can do on it. We'll see you out there on the road with this new how-to video. See y'all later. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of uh, Trucking with Trucker D. I'm Trucker D, and uh, we're back at it again. So today, I've decided to do a little bit of a how-to video. Something different. Something I want to put out there for people. You know, I kind of got the idea from one of my buddies who just recently started working here. One of the guys I was in uh, CDL school with, I got him a job here. And the uh, last few days, I've been uh, coaching him over the phone on how to work the Qualcomm. So I got to thinking, I'm like, why don't I go ahead and make me a uh, little how-to video for everybody out there that has questions on the Qualcomm. Now, I'm just a rookie myself as it is. And I may not explain everything perfectly, but I'm going to explain it how I understand it and how I learned it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the... Uh, What's where we're at on our status right now? We're just getting started for the day. We got three stops ahead of us. signal right here at the uh, sitting here at the bakery anyways back to what I was saying let's go ahead and uh, get started with the how-to video and show y'all where uh, where we're at on our uh, duty status right now we're setting off duty we've been off duty for 11 hours and five minutes it's now 10 13 a.m. now the rest of the stuff over here to the uh, to the left my last uh, 34 hour reset, or shit, to the left. I meant to the right. The stuff over here to the right of the screen, it's still early, folks. Give me a minute. It uh, shows your last 34 hour reset, which I completed my last 34 hour reset at 1143 on 512. And hours we gained, hours we gained in two days, mileage today, all that. The mileage today is the only thing that will show up later on today it will track your mileage but starting out you go over here to your summary you have your eight hour rest break 11 hour drive time and 14 hour duty time and your 70 hour on duty clock now your 70 hour on duty clock that's the hours that you have to drive in eight days that doesn't reset until you are off duty for at least 34 hours now your eight hour rest break, you have eight hours to drive before you have to take a 30 minute break. After you take that 30 minute break, your eight hours will reset, but your actual drive time you will have will be on this 11 hour uh, drive time. So however many hours your 11 hour drive time uh, bar says, after you take your eight hour break, is how many hours you have left to drive unless you take your break before five hours left on your uh, eight hour drive time clock if you take your break before your five hours is up or before your uh, before you have five hours left on your eight hour break you will have to take another 30 minute break to reset your drive time now your 14 hour on duty time that's how many hours you have. Your on duty time is for fueling, dropping and hooking, doing your pre trip, all stuff that you do while you're not driving. 
and that will tick down along with your drive time while you're driving and I'll keep track of this with y'all today as I go through my route um yeah that pretty much explains all that um now for instance say you're on duty you always want to try to keep your on duty time larger than your uh drive time because once your on duty time goes lower than your drive time that's how many hours you have left to drive so say my on duty time went from was at let's just say it was at 10 hours and my 11 hour drive time is still there my 14 hours or my uh that on duty time for 10 hours would be all the time i have to drive and be on duty so it's all really about managing your time so if you can manage your time well the clock really ain't nothing it's it's like a cell phone all you got to do is just play with it to figure it out so we're going to go ahead we're going to go back to our status screen we're going to go ahead and hit change and we're going to go ahead and hit on duty and we are going to go ahead and hit okay it's hard to kind of hit this hit the buttons and hold the phone at the same time but we're gonna manage now that we're on duty that's it you can't go you can go off duty but your clock's not gonna stop your clock is gonna run until you stop and take a 10 hour break and then it will reset so we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this video off we're gonna go get hooked up to our trailer and then we're gonna head out now once you're hooked up and your pre trips all done all you got to do is just take off and your status will go from on duty to driving and then you're set until you stop again once you stop you hit change hit on duty and hit uh hit okay now when you're on duty if you go over five miles per hour your truck will kick your clock into uh drive mode but there is a way and I'll show y'all later how you can drive around the yard and still be on duty and not worry about going over five miles per hour. So I'll show y'all that at my uh, first stop. All right, y'all. We'll see you out there later. What's up, y'all? So I'm at a pilot here in Ohio and I'm about to fuel up. So let me show you what I do on the Qualcomm when I stop for fuel. Okay, so what we do is, we just hit change, and then we go over here, hit on duty, and we just hit okay. And then wait for it to switch over. And now we're on duty. And it's as simple as that. So now that we're on duty, we'll get out, we'll pump our fuel, and once we get back in and take off, once it gets over five miles per hour, it will switch back to uh, driving. So we're gonna do go out here and get our fuel and uh, we'll see y'all out there, but. All right, well, it's time to take a 30 minute break so we can reset our uh, drive time, hit our last stop and head on back. Now, the first two stops, I wasn't able to do any recording so I will show you how to move around the yard without engaging your clock into drive time at our very last stop so let me show you what we do now on the Qualcomm when it's time to take a 30 minute break and you need to reset your uh, your drive time what you do real simple hit change like you would if you were gonna go on duty and then off duty okay and that's it. Once your duration has hit 30 minutes, you will regain three more hours of drive time. So you will be setting at four hours and 47 minutes of drive time remaining. And right now you're setting with six hours and 14 minutes of drive time remaining, or of uh, on-duty time remaining. After that uh, 
After your 30 minutes, though, you will have 5 hours and 44 minutes of on-duty time remaining. So that's where our clock sets. And this is where we're going to set. There we go. Setting at the old Petro right on the Indiana Michigan State Line, right off I-69. So we're going to go in here and uh, chill out for a minute. And we'll start heading to Jackson as soon as our 30 minutes are over. We'll see y'all later. What's up, y'all? So we're in Jackson. And we're into a dock, but they want us to move it. And then we gotta go hook up to another trailer. So I mentioned earlier in the video how you can actually move around the yard without uh, trading your truck into drive mode. So let me show you how to do that. So all you do, since we're already in on duty, you go over here. You hit your uh, oh, I know what it is. I have a feeling you can't switch in the yard move with the top of the truck running. I did not know that. So apparently, you can't switch in the yard move on duty without the truck running. So we both learned something new today. So with the truck running, make sure you're in on duty, hit yard move, hit the drop down menu, hit drop and hook, or whatever reason you can type in anything right here or just hit something from the list, and hit okay. And it will switch you into yard move. There we go. Now, now you can drive over five miles per hour in the yard without tricking the uh, without tricking the truck into uh, driving mode. So now we're gonna move this over here where they want it and uh, hook up to our other trailer. Now, wait, you're in yard mode. Which I guess this does make sense. It wouldn't trigger yard mode while you were uh, had the truck shut off. If you have an idle safe truck that shuts off after it's been idling for so long, it will automatically kick you out of yard mode. God, that sun is bright. So, what I like to do is I like to just kick it right back into regular on duty after I... Uh, Kick it back into regular on duty after I uh, get the truck parked or backed in or whatever. So let's back this thing in. We'll hook up to our other trailer and we'll see y'all back in Plymouth where I'll show you what we do at the end of the day. Later. All right. So we're back at Plymouth and we're done for the day. So now we want to put our clock in off duty. That way we can uh, go off duty for 10 hours and reset our 14 hour clock. So let's go down the computer and I'll show you how to take care of that. Now it's pretty much the same thing you've been doing all day long. Just hit your change button. Hit off duty. Hit OK. And that's it. Now you're off duty. Once this reaches 10 hours, this will reset right here and say 8. This one right here will reset and say 14 again. So let's check out what we got going on here. Right here, we have our 8 hour drive time. Now, this will always go up to go back to eight every time you set for 30 minutes at least no matter though what this says you always go by what this says right here now if this time is greater than this time then you go by what this time says right here 
because you're going to have to take a 30 minute break before you can use whatever time's left over here. I know it's kind of confusing, but you get used to it after you play with it yourself for a little bit if you actually are dealing with hours of service. Now this time right here, see I have 2 hours and 14 minutes of my drive time left for the day. Now I have 2 hours and 37 minutes left of on duty time. Now if my on duty time goes below this 2 hours and 14 minutes, this is all the time I'll have left to use right here. So say, see how it says 2.14 up here in the corner? If this goes below 2.14, this is the time you'll see up here. Now this time right here is your 70 hour clock. I believe I explained it earlier in the video. I don't remember because I've been doing this throughout the day. So you want to make sure you keep an eye on this right here. Because when you get down to the very end where you're real low on time, you want to make sure you take a 34 hour reset. So when your clock gets down to here and say all these bars are full, right here, this is going to be your time if it's down. Say you got three hours, three and a half hours left of 70 hour, 70 hour on duty time. These can all be full, but that three hours is what you're going to see up here in the corner. That's going to be all the time you have left. So that's ba that's the basic gist of how your hours of service and how to work your. I learned by doing this from watching other YouTube videos and reading up on the hours of service. And it's just something you gotta play with and figure out. And once you learn how to figure this clock out and manage your time, you'll be good to go. Now, every time you go to a spot and you drop and hook and you're moving around the yard, you wanna make sure you're on duty. And if you're gonna be moving around the yard, like I just said, you want to make sure you go into on-duty yard mode, which we learned today will only work if the truck is running. And every time you fuel up, say you have to hand unload your own freight, uh, you're in the yard hooking up a trailer, doing your pre-trip, you want to make sure you're in on-duty. Now you can always go for you to do your 30-minute 30, 30 break. You gotta make sure that you are either on duty because you can reset your 30 minutes while being on, on duty. And you can also just go completely off duty or even use your sleeper berth. It will still reset that 30 minutes. Now, I've never used sleeper berth to reset my 10 hour clock or do, uh, do my 10 hours. So, I always just go off duty. You know, I'm not working. Got my hours being reset. You just want to make sure your clock is always off duty or you either just straight log out of your Qualcomm at the end of your day. And you want to make sure you keep an eye on your 70 hour clock because you don't want to get somewhere where you can't take a 34 hour reset. Now see, I'm lucky. I work Sunday and Monday and I'm off on Tuesday. And I work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I'm off on Saturday. So, 90% of the time I get a 34 hour reset on Tuesday and on Saturday. So I really don't gotta pay too much attention to that, but I always do. So, but that's the end of our night. I'm gonna send over my macros and uh, finish up my paperwork. And then I'm gonna pack all my stuff up and I'm gonna jump in the Camaro and I'm gonna head home because it's gonna be an early night for me. With that, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything I missed or anything y'all wanna add to this video, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. And if you have any questions, please drop that down in the comments or you can always email me at uh, truckerd85 at gmail.com. And as I always say, please, 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 be courteous to your fellow drivers out there. And let's use some common sense while we're on the road. I'll talk to you next time, y'all. Later.